Hey guys, it's Akini here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am going out for lunch with my sisters and I figured it would be a good time to do kind of a more casual, subtle Christmas look that could be an everyday look. So the idea is I'm going to be doing a bright red lip-ish um, and a subtle-ish, goldish, shimmery, peachish eye. So that's the current plan. Who knows where that will go. Um, but we're probably just going to get straight into the eye. Um, first, so I'm going to zoom you guys in. So you're nice and close and can see the eyes. Lovely. Um, and then we're going to get started. So, where did I put my eyeshadow last time? An elf in my shadow camera because I was just looking at my uh, Too Faced one and now I don't know where I put it. So, who knows where that is? But this is just a um, skin coloured pretty much clear eyeshadow base and it's just to give us like a general base to start working on which will be nice I think so I'm just gonna rub that in okay lovely Now that we've got that going on, um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a MAC eyeshadow called Naked Lunch and I'm going to put that on a flat-ish shader brush. should grab off the uh, excess brownish colour that I have on here from yesterday. That'd be a good idea. Um, so flat shader brush into the Naked Lunch and I am going to put this all over the eye, starting in the inner corner, going to the outer corner, everywhere and I'm going to build up over that on top of that with some other colours to make it a more uh, vibrant actual look, not vibrant, but um, an actual look as opposed to just being um, just a shimmery colour, if that makes any sense. Um, so this colour is just a gorgeous um, my skin tone-ish colour with a little bit of shimmer. Um, so that is done. Um, a little bit hard to tell. It does shimmer. Um, it is really, really pretty. Um, so that's going to make the basis of the look. Um, the next colour we're going to use is going to be on a blending brush and it's going to be MAC Wood Wood. So this is kind of like a copperish goldish colour maybe? That's probably not a good description of the colour. I'm just going to put this in the crease and blend it in. And I'm also going to put it in the outer third and blend it out. So just like that. Um, so nice and subtle, but also really, really pretty. And it is kind of like that goldish, reddish tone that kind of fits well with Christmas. It's a lot more goldish tone than I really thought previously, like a deep gold with some other layers of stuff in it as well. So it's really pretty. And it's really a nice, Colour for the Christmas season. Put too much on that side. Okay, lovely, lovely. So we'll clean that up a bit later. Um, so we'll go back into the naked lunch, and we're just going to get one final thing on the blending brush, and blend all of that into the naked lunch colour. Which these two actually go really well together. We want it to be blended and nice, not choppy and just appears. So once we've got that, we're going to go into just a cream white colour that is got nothing else on it. And we're just going to go kind of under the brows with that, just blend out the edges. So that's that. Um, 
before we do anything else I'm going to quickly do my eyebrows just so I can get a good look as to how this looks overall. So we'll just get the darker colour in my brow powder and go down like this and then we'll blend that all the way through making sure to get this part as well. And maybe get a bit of an ashy colour, a little lighter colour, which is a bit more ashy. very bright, vibrant and harsh on the camera. It's not actually like that in real life. Um, so I don't know why it's doing that. And I'll just... There we go. Definitely do not match. fix that up a little bit later in the actual camera. Um, I mean mirror, not camera. I'm going to take an eyeshadow brush and I'm going to take um, another MAC colour. This is mulch. So this is just kind of a um, dark chocolatey brownish colour. Um, it is a gorgeous colour and I'm just going to put that as an eyeliner. I tend to use powder eyeliners a lot more than anything else. Um, I don't use other eyeliners all that much. I find I like the soft look a little bit more than like a harsh line. And it can still give you something really pretty and a lot more. Um, in I don't know it brings to focus what you want makes your eyelashes look a little bit fuller firmer but it's still soft and not extremely harsh okay lovely Alright, now that that's done, uh, we're just going to take a cotton tip and some, some stuff called toner and we're just going to put some toner on the uh, cotton tip and just clean up the general area. For the most part, it's pretty good. I'm not going to put anything under my eyes today um, in terms of eyeshadow. There's a little bit of brown um, on my lash line that I just kind of put there when I put that there, um, which would do. You could make that a little bit more intense if you wanted to. I'm just going to clean up the corners. And we'll go on with the other dry end. Grab up anything that's been left over. Lovely. Alright, uh, let's quickly go in with mascara. We don't want to go too crazy with mascara, we just want a little bit of definition. Oh, 
little bit on the corners. Lovely. Okay. Um, and did I get some on there? I think I got a little bit, so I will just go this again and just scrape it off. Okay, so wrong way. That's the eye look done. Um, I have a few little pimples here and there. Let it go out again. Okay, lovely. Um, so we want to cover those up. I am gonna do foundation first. Uh, so I have the Estee Lauder Double Wear uh, Cushion Stick Radiant Makeup. And it does have a spongy thing, but I don't tend to use that a lot. Um, so I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand for the moment. I'm going to grab a brush, which is just going to be this flat top kabuki brush. And I'm just going to pat it in. And then tap it on the skin and blend. So I'm going for a light makeup. So I'm not going to try and get too heavy with it. I just want to get a light layer and maybe build up in a few areas. Um, you can also with this foundation just go straight from the thing onto the skin, which I do do sometimes, but for the most part on the hand and then a brush because I'm a bit worried about the fact that it is a sponge and if you put it on your skin on top of blemishes or whatever then that bacteria is going to be on the sponge forever and not really what you want to be transferring. foundation all over my skin um, it is fairly well blended uh, we're gonna go in with some concealer and I'm just going to put concealer wherever I think I need it where's my brush for that I'm um, just gonna use the foundation brush so we're just gonna get it on the edge of the pointy part um, and just dab it where we want like that, and then blend it out. Lovely, and then we'll get a little bit more, and I'm going to go under my eyes, and then blend. I don't know where my found it, uh, my concealer brush that I usually use, but so we're just going to go with this one. It seems to be working quite well. I'm put it under the eyes. Blend. Okay, um, and then there's a little spot up here. This um, concealer is also slightly lighter, so sometimes I will use a concealer like this to also just lighten up certain areas. Okay, now that's done, I'm looking pretty shiny. Um, so, I'm just wipe all of that off the back of my hand while we're at it. I'm going to grab a kabuki brush and my Tarte, what is this? And it's only in clay full coverage airbrush foundation, which is a powder foundation. Um, and I'm just going to get some of that on here and just tap it. Um, it should already be blended, so I don't need it for blending. I just need to kind of set it and also make sure that it is not going to move and get really oily and gross. So that is done. Next we've got... Um, I'm probably not going to go with bronzer today. I don't tend to wear a lot of bronzer, um, but I am going to go with um, this blush from Elizabeth Arden. It is the beautiful colour Radiance Blush in Sweet Peach 2, which is a gorgeous colour. I'm just going to grab that 
on my blush brush. Smile. And add it in. You can kind of tell. Um, so once I've got that and it is nice and radiant, which is lovely, I'm then going to put on top of that the throb. I think it's a blush. Yeah, it's a light pink powder with a little bit of shimmer. It's very light pink, um, but I'm just going to lay that on top. Mainly on the top part where you put a highlighter, um, kind of instead of a highlighter. And then I'm going to put a translucent happy powder on top from Physician's Formula. It's not 100% translucent, there is a bit of a shine to it, like um, a little bit of glitter in it. So I'm just going to put this on the corners as a little bit of a this very very subtle highlight and down my nose then on the cupid's bow and on my forehead um, and then lastly we're going to get a fully translucent powder and um, we are going to get just a big soft fluffy brush and we're just going to put this over to set everything that will end the blush and the highlighter Just like that. Um, so that is my makeup set. That's also a mattifying powder, so it should help to keep me matte throughout the day. Um, so that is that. Now I'm just going to make sure my lips have no foundation on them. Um, and as I said, we're going to do a reddish lip. So I've got the Ultra Suede lipstick in Finale um, and then I've also got the Benny Tint lip tint so I'm actually going to put that on first um, just a light layer and that way when the lipstick wears off I will still have a red tinge on the lips so it's not going to be so intense of a wear off if that makes any sense at all probably doesn't so I'm just going to try to get this everywhere So it's obviously not a bright red, but it's closer to a bright red than my natural lip colour. So that's kind of important. Just wait for that to dry for just a second. Um, I think everything else is all set. I really like the eye look. I think the eye look is really pretty. Um, and the cheeks are quite nice. Um, I maybe overdid it a little bit, but we shall survive. Um, so the last thing we've got to do is put on this Revlon red lipstick. So it's very, very red in the packet, but I don't think it's that red one on the lips. Kind of. There we go. So we've just got some bright red lips to go with a more subtle everyday-ish Christmas look. Super pretty. Uh, and last thing, hair down. It's my hair is slowly going to a more um, naturalish colour as opposed to the weird red colour it was before. Um, but some of it is fading a lot more quickly than some of the rest of it. Um, and it has gone kind of an ombre-ish, which is kind of nice. I don't mind the ombre-ish part. Um, but yeah, that's my look that I'm going to do with my outing today. Um, so very subtle, very nice, but a nice bright lip. And I think it's really, really nice. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like down below. It does help me out quite a bit. If you have any tips, suggestions, anything like that, leave them in the comments. And other than that, I hope you guys have a lovely day. Keep smiling, and I shall see you in the next video.